What's up everyone, June here, thanks for tuning in. So today we have an unboxing, but before we do this, I just want to go over and show a few of the animals we have in the collection already, related to the same project. <laughs> Alright, so the project we're talking about, it's the Desert Ghost Project. Uh, we added some more females and you'll see shortly when we unbox. Uh, but before we show them, I just want to show off these two girls. Uh, so these were the first um, first ones that we finally added to get into the project. Uh, really late start for us, but better late than never, right? It's such a hot project, I don't know why we didn't get, get into it sooner. So these ones are, they're actually Enhancers. Um, Enhancer is a line of Desert Ghosts, I guess. Um, many people argue that they're one and the same. but. I just love how clean these were. So these ones were actually produced by Sarah Miller at Miller Exotics. Uh, I don't know the colors coming through, but these guys are insane. Like here, I'll add something to the the mix just to show the contrast difference. There. That's a nice blackhead. Blackhead had pied, but just to show how much brighter the desert ghosts and enhancers are compared to the normal darker coloration we're used to. So, really, really nice. So happy to finally be in the project. Somebody doing some crazy things, Will Moroz at World Canadian Reptiles. Make sure you check him out if you aren't already. He's doing some crazy things with the Desert Ghost stuff. Uh, my favorite's the pastel Desert Ghost puzzle he made. It's insane. Goals for sure, that guy. Alright, so I'm gonna put these away and then we'll get to the unboxing. But you guys let me know. Desert Ghost and Enhancer, are they the exact same? Just different lines? Or something different? All right, let's get to the unboxing. So these guys are from Steve Cassidy at Oddball Reptiles. If you aren't already following Steve, I'll make sure to put his info in the description below. He has some amazing stuff, working with a lot of lightning, lightning pied project stuff, a lot of red stripe projects, hypo clowns. Uh, you definitely want to keep uh, keep an eye on Steve. He's doing some crazy things, and I just want to thank him for letting these animals go to me because it's really going to help out our projects. So without further ado, let's get to unpacking these guys. I also want to shout out. Uh, both Phil Robinson at Reptile Express. Phil, always willing to help us out uh, with any shipping needs or uh, animals for that matter. He produces some of the craziest stuff in the world, I'd say even. Uh, so thanks for helping out with this shipment, Phil, and Reptile Express as well. right there Steve Cassidy oddball reptiles some awesome stickers throw that on the incubator All right, so I'm gonna unbox this girl first right here it's, it's, uh, one of them peed I'm pretty sure Thank you for not using zip ties. Ooh, wow, she's bright. And you guys can see in the bag, pastel desert ghost female. You can get her to unravel a bit. she is camera's not really doing her any justice but she is bright super super bright you know pastel and desert ghost uh, you know a lot of people hate on pastel mostly because of the amount they brown out 
But Desert Ghost is pretty much the fix to that issue. As you can see, nothing, no browning out. And Desert Ghost only gets nicer and nicer with age. So that's the first edition. Okay. Number two. This one was actually a last minute edition. Um, I was contacting him for the Pastel DG. Um, discussed this one, maybe an offer I couldn't refuse. So we had to add her. This one he warned probably will be in shed, but hopefully her colors will come through. Holy crap, Steve. You weren't kidding. That thing's insane. You guys seeing the color on that? Wow. So what we're looking at, this is a butter, cinnamon, desert ghost, Possibly caramel as well. Uh, this one was actually produced by Mark Mandic at Marcus Jane and He put a post up that I found uh, after I purchased actually um, that he wasn't sure she had caramel or not Because her eyes aren't typically that red or ruby that caramels normally have But if she is she'll be welcomed, but Overall what a stunning animal. Holy crap. That's Right. Yeah, Steve even said that, like, you know, it's probably his top five prettiest snakes in his collection. And she's probably going to still hold that title over here. Wow. Let me know what you guys think of these guys. And like I said, don't forget to, get to follow Steve because this is, these are the reasons why. Alright, I'm going to set these guys up. I'll be right back. Okay, so figured I'd give you guys a little bit of a bonus video. So today, along with receiving that shipment, we actually have one going out. And the one going out is actually quite a stunner, so we got to show them off. So what we're looking at is a pastel spider het red exanthic puzzle. Or a buzz het red puzzle. This guy's a male, and he's actually going to the US. So he's switching citizenship on us today, or well, next week really. Uh, but we're shipping, we're going to get him ready to ship out. And we'll show you how we do it. Okay, so we ship with Reptile Express. Another container right here. Just put him down for a second. Have him secure. There we go. That's what we do. We use paper towel. We do dump two layers just in case. Go to the bathroom mid shipping, they're not sitting all over it. There we go. Nice little cushion there. Animal goes in. So sometimes if they're a, it's a small animal and you know the deli isn't big enough, I'll shove some more paper towel in there just to keep the animal from rolling around. Okay. Close it up. And I just secure the container with some tape because I have, I have had animals pop these open. And customer opens a box and or I open a box and snakes flopping around everywhere. Usually they're completely fine but it's still obviously not a good practice to do that right. And there we go. Can't open it. So along with that, normally I have my business cards. Unfortunately I'm in the middle of a redesign uh, so when I ran out so I just haven't had time to bring him in yet so um, in the meantime I'm blocking the customer I have a little label there with my logo showing what the animal is who it's going to that way when it, when it arrives at the uh, exporter they know exactly 
who Snake this is, who it belonged to, and who it's going to. All right. And it goes right in there. Sides are all padded up. And let me just grab some paper. that the animal can't roll around. Put the animal in place. I'm just shoving paper in between the sides. Again, some people might ship these differently, have different uh, different ways to do it. But this is what works from us. Uh, and so far we have a 100% track record. See, so pretty much that's what you want. Container is not moving anywhere. Animals moving a little bit, but the container itself is completely solid in there. Made a like a really nice nest. Other than that, one more sheet. Just a loose sheet. This one you don't have to completely pack. Okay. That's completely fine. So just a nice loose pack like that, just so the up and down motions when in transit don't affect the animal. On top of that, this is going to provide a, a cushion in case the heat pack that I'm going to be putting in here happens to fall. You don't want that heat pack falling right on top of the animal. I will completely cook the animal. Um, so we ship almost exclusively with Reptile Express. Sam's an amazing guy. Um, What's nice about Reptile Express, they provide instructions the night prior, not ahead of time, obviously, because uh, he needs to keep track of the current weather um, at both departing and departure stations to make sure that uh, it is safe and that um, the weather is completely accurate. Uh, Sam has in the past messaged me and says, sorry, shipment's not happening. Uh, we're going to have to rebook for a couple weeks. You can't really complain with that, right? Like, uh, can you imagine if he said, yeah, go ahead and ship it just to get rid of the workload on himself? He cares about the animals first. Uh, so what I'm doing right now is, uh, this is one of the methods that you want to attach the heat tape. Uh, sorry, heat tape, uh, heat pack. Uh, this is gonna be mostly for an ambient heat in the whole box. You, these aren't designed to heat the actual uh, container or the animal in the bag. It's mostly just to raise the temperature of the whole the whole box. Uh, so we're heat, we're putting it at the top. Okay. Um, so what I'm doing, you just want to make sure you're getting the creases. You don't you don't want to cover this. You definitely don't want to cover the whole pack. You're just getting just the edges with the tape, and I'm wrapping it completely around the lid to prevent it from falling. Okay. How you want to do it so yeah reptile express make sure you guys send them a follow as well because um, they're doing amazing things for the industry uh, so he has done some of my imports from the u.s before unfortunately timing we're so late in the year that i had pretty much had to get them there as soon as possible and so i gotta give a shout out to also mdk myrtle myrtle imports uh, they're helping out to get this one over to our customer in the most timely fashion. So that's it right there. That goes right on top. Now with this, I just always, I always just fold these. This is just the the label that you get emailed uh, when you ship with Reptile Express. I like to make these small enough to fit on the one side. And you'll see why. So just to cover this right here. That way the customer can get it, cut right down there. And, um, no, I don't know if a lot of people do, but I always reuse my boxes, you know, reduce, reuse, recycle, uh, 
it's, if it's completely good shape I don't see any problem with it so I make it handy so the next customer can have the same option if they want to without having to completely tear up the box trying to get into their uh, animal Sorry about that guys, camera died. But here it is, all taped up, all sealed, ready to drop off to FedEx. Again, shout out to Reptile Express. Shout out to Steve Cassidy at Oddball Reptiles. Phil Robinson at Robinson Royals. And also a big shout out to all of you for your continued support. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. And we'll see you next time. Stay safe.